know anything about Denmark. Quite a happy bunch of people, I think. Tall, strong, blonde. No, light all day in the summer and dark all day in the winter. Sausages and beers. The snow is probably better there. Studying here has been a really great experience because I've been able to learn a lot about protecting the environment and also put it into practice a little bit with the, the society and the culture here. Uh, I think Denmark's a very good place to, to study environmental chemistry because uh, they have a, a lot of knowledge on environmental pollutants uh, and the effect of chemicals in, in the environment. They've studied their environment very well. Candidates of this program will typically work uh, within three uh, fields, either uh, municipalities doing regulation of chemicals, they will go into consultant companies where you work with remediation of pollution problems, or you'll go into production companies where you work on developing and producing new compounds that do not pollute. Well, I think the excursions are like a very important part of the education because it shows us really how these things we're learning in the classroom, how they're actually applied, you know, and to come and see how, how it really works in, in the real world. Then you can incinerate the, bio. the University of Copenhagen is, is a good place to study because there's, uh, there's a lot of resources available to students um, and the uh, teaching style is also very intimate and, uh, and relaxed, which I think is, is, is really nice. Going on trips like this, the students learn how to apply the theoretical uh, knowledge they have gotten in the classroom uh, to real uh, practical uh, cases. So uh, we take samples from here, we deal with them in the lab and we learn the theory behind them uh, in the classrooms. So as a student here, I think that the relationship with the teachers is very good and I think there's a lot of respect on both sides between students and teachers. I definitely consider this to be an international program uh, because we, uh, there's different groups are studying all sorts of different things all over the world. So I got to travel to Eastern Greenland to, to sample polar bears as part of my project. Well, Copenhagen is a really nice city. Um, it's a, I think it's a, it's a really good size and it's quite compact. Um, and I really love the, the cycling culture here. You can ride almost anywhere within 15, 20 minutes or something. So. That's a big advantage. Uh, Copenhagen is uh, very full of possibilities. Like for example, I, uh, I do rock climbing and, and uh, sea kayaking and stuff here. So my advice for people coming to Copenhagen is to, uh, to organize a bike as soon as they can because it makes life a lot easier and, and more practical up here.